Fireworks. When I was little, I went to watch fireworks. We went to Timmy's house. Wooly came too. Timmy had a garden. At the end of Timmy's garden was a park. We are going to watch the fireworks in the park. I should really be doing the fireworks. Timmy was very excited about the fireworks. I wasn't excited. I didn't like fireworks. Timmy had animal masks. He ran around whipping. I had a cat mask. I went meow. I like playing at Timmy's. Mummy was excited about the fireworks. <gasps> I think everyone's getting a little overexcited about the fireworks. I wasn't excited about the fireworks. But I like playing at Timmy's. We did painting. We painted firework pictures with big bangs and whooshes. I like the firework pictures, but I didn't like fireworks. We played funny games. We played Blow the Grapes. Go take, go take. Oh, for your hands. Take, hands we played up. Bite the Jammy Scone. Try, that's the game. <laughs> Reasons to eat them. We so played Pop the Raisin Bag. The bag went bang. It's like a firework. I didn't like fireworks, but I like eating the raisins. The fireworks didn't start until it was dark. When we waited for the dark, Daddy told us a story. Daddy told the story of the three bears. Once upon a time, there was a little girl called Bernard. Daddy looks. Oh. Daddy got the story of the three bears all wrong. And she started to eat the bears' cabbage soup. Porridge. Por oh, right, porridge, right. When the three bears came back in, they caught Goldilocks and she was watching the television. She was sleeping in the three bears' bed. Oh, is that what it was? Right. Silly I daddy. I know, dad's really silly, isn't he? Then it was dark. Time for the fireworks, said mummy. I want to play hide and seek, I said, and hid under the table. Everyone was excited about the fireworks. Come on, Tig, you make us all late. I wasn't excited. I didn't like fireworks. I was scared of fireworks. Hey Tig, just because everyone else isn't scared of fireworks doesn't mean that you can't be scared. Fireworks scare me. The bangs, the flashes and the whizzies. Fireworks scare lots of animals. Dogs and cats hate fireworks. So when the fireworks start, the best place for animals is indoors. So maybe when the fireworks start, the best place for you and me is indoors too. Then the fireworks won't seem quite so scary. And then we can look after each other. So go for it, Tig. Tell everyone that you don't want to watch the fireworks outside. It's too scary. Yes, I thought. I'll tell Mummy and Daddy and Timmy that I don't like fireworks. Don't worry, Timmy. No worries, said Timmy. We can watch from the window. So we did. And I cuddled Willy. Watching the fireworks from inside was fun. The fireworks whizzed and whooshed and painted the sky. When my toy spider heard a big bang, he jumps! It's only a firework, Willy, I said. I like fireworks. And I love Willy. We've been scared since we were late. Granny, no, no. When I was little, my daddy took me to see my granny. Willy came too. Hello. Hello. I love my granny. What will we have? Have some tea, will we? Granny and Daddy had a cup of tea. Granny is Daddy's mummy. <laughs> That's funny. Daddy's hungry. 
funny story about Daddy. I asked Granny to tell me the story about when Daddy was little. I think we'll wait until Daddy's gone. No, said Granny, later. You be a good girl for Granny when Daddy's away. I wanted to help Granny, so I took Daddy's cup of tea away for her. Oh, no, sweetheart, just leave that because let Granny... No, said Granny, be careful. Granny will take care of Granny said no a lot. Yes. Dad's going to go away. Mm. You bet. When go. Daddy left, I had my Granny to myself. I'll see you later. I like having Tig here. Bye. <laughs> Bye. Granny told me the story about how Daddy made a mud pie. Yeah. As a mud pie, a mud pie. Well, he was carrying a great big tin full of mud. He said, I've made you a mud pie. This is for you, Mummy, and for Jean. <laughs> I wanted to make a mud pie too. I wanted to make Granny laugh like Daddy. I looked for a tin to fill with mud. Clever girl. No. But I don't think we can be making any mud pies today. No, said Granny. I wanted to actually make a mud pie. It's a heavy one. Granny had lots of exciting things round her house. Granny says that everything tells a story. I saw a big knife. What's that, Granny? Granny said, that was Great Granddad's knife. Can I see, I said. No, said Granny, mustn't touch. Granny had a big glass bottle. When you look through the glass, it made everything move and bend. Careful, darling, no, no. When I tried to touch the bottle, Granny said no. Granny said no a lot. Granny has a staircase in her house. I love to run up and down Granny's staircase. No, Tig, don't run up and down the stairs, dear. I don't want you to fall. No running on the stairs. Granny, no, no. Hey, Tig, Granny doesn't just say no. She says yes, too. But there'd be no fun to say yes if Granny didn't sometimes say no. And Granny's nose keeps you safe. No to spilling hot tea. No to touching sharp knives. No to running and falling down the stairs. So try thinking of all the things to do that will let Granny say yes. Yes to playing with your toys. Yes to asking for stories. Yes to showing you the treasure box. Come on! Hey and Tig, why don't you tell Granny how much you love her too? Yes, I thought. I love my Granny. I'm going to do things so Granny can say yes. Love you, Granny. I love Aww. you, Granny. <laughs> oh, Tig, darling, I love you too. Can I look at the treasure box? Of course you can. Yes, said Granny. Can I put the jewels on? Yes, said Granny. Ooh. Granny saw Willy. <gasps> oh, oh my it's goodness. It's only a toy spy. <sighs> but you can cuddle Willy, yes. I want to find a ring. And I love Willy. We beat <laughs> Sharing. When I was little, my friend Angel came to play. I like playing with Angel. She's fun. See you later. Peekaboo! Peekaboo! We played people. We played sliding. We played jumping on the cushions. Wee! I liked playing with Angel. She makes me laugh. Why don't you go and show Angel your room? Mummy said, Tig, why don't you show Angel your toys? 
I showed Angel all my toys. The orange came on fire. <laughs> I'm making soup. That's um, that's in the soup for babies. Oh. I didn't like Angel holding my doll. It wasn't Angel's doll. It was my doll. I didn't want Angel to play with my toys anymore. I put Willie to bed. I put all my toys in my little house. I want toys! No! Yes! No! Yes! No! We shouted, shouted, shouted! Shh! What's going on? I want to go home. Oh, of course you can, Angel. Let's go and ring your mum. Oh dear, said Mummy. That's sad you're going home so soon, Angel. Did Tig not want to share her toys? No. No, oh dear. And they went to ring Angel's Mummy. Oh dear. Hey Tig, it can be a bit funny seeing someone play with your toys. But Angel's your friend. Now she's gone. Tig. That's a big jumble of toys in there. That'll take some sorting. Shame there's no one to help. The good thing about sharing your toys is that your toys can suddenly become new and fun again. Maybe if you say a big, big sorry to Angel, she'll come back and play and you can have fun with your toys again. I didn't want Angel to go. She was my friend. I said sorry to Angel. Angel, I'm sorry. In a big, big way. I gave Angel Wooly to play with. <laughs> Angel said she would stay. Angel had Willie under Mummy's work. Here's a chance. <laughs> it's only my toy spider, I said. <laughs> I like playing with Angel. We played and I shared my toys. <laughs> new toys again. I love Willy. We baby bed. When I was little, a baby came to stay for the day. I was very excited. So was Willy. And I made my little house ready to play. Look who it is. It's Baby Ben. I like Baby Ben. Can you have a little look for me underneath Baby Ben's buggy and see if you can find a toy for him to play with? Baby Ben came with lots and lots of things. Nappy. Nappies. Whip. Wipes. Wipes. Ooh. Clothes. Baby Ben didn't have many toys. Yeah, found it. Just a squeaky thing. I wanted to show Baby Ben my toys. Mummy said no. He's only a baby. No, he isn't. Can he come to tea in my little house? I said. Mummy, can Baby Ben have tea in my house? <laughs> well, no, because Baby Ben's just very little. No, said Mummy. I think it's time for Baby Ben's nap. Time for a nap, Baby Ben, said Mummy. Baby Ben isn't much fun. I waited for Baby Ben to go to sleep. When Baby Ben was asleep, <laughs> 
I asked Mummy if she would like to come for tea. Mummy, would you like to come and have tea? No, sorry, Tig. I've just got a few things to catch up on before baby Ben wakes up. Mummy said no. Oh, I said I'd play with my car. Beep, beep, beep. <laughs> said Mummy. You wake baby Ben. Mummy likes the baby more than me, I said to Willy. I could be a baby too, just like baby Ben. Tig, shh, he's sleeping. I wish baby Ben would go away. Hello. Suddenly, baby Ben woke up again. Oh, dear. come on. Could you please move your toys? Mummy's grumpy, I said to Willy. Hey Tig, Mummy's not grumpy. Mummy's just busy with baby Ben. Come on, we'll give her a hand. Clean nappies, we'll need one of those. Baby wipes, we need them to make baby Ben nice and clean all over. Clean clothes for Ben. <laughs> hey, Tig, and there's Ben's drinking bottle. Mummy will miss that. Off you go, Tig. Helping Mum's fun. Here, look what I found. Oh, thank you, Tig. Mummy was pleased. Mum, here, Mummy. Here's a nappy for baby oh. Ben. Clever girl, and because you've been so good, you can help me change Baby Ben's nappy. Uh, because guess what? Can I help Mummy change Baby Ben? <laughs> Mummy, I'm going to put the baby right Oh, now. thank you. Yeah. Thank you so much. Mummy, here's, here's Baby Ben's trousers. Oh, that is so helpful. Thank you. We made them all nice and clean again. It's only my toy spider to be there. <laughs> I like helping Mummy. I like Baby Ben too. I love Willie. That's nice. We've been to First day. Right. When I was little, I loved going to my nursery school. <laughs> Willie liked my nursery school too. At my nursery school, I had my own place to put my coat. My nursery teacher is called Claire. I like Claire. Sometimes I play by myself. Sometimes I play with the other children. Sometimes I'm so busy playing that I have to give Willie to my teacher Claire. Claire always puts Willie somewhere where he can watch me playing on the messy table. Doing my writing. Playing with the sand. Having fun with water. One day, a new little boy came to my nursery. Everybody, this is Rufus. Claire told us the new boy's name was Rufus. Rufus didn't seem very happy. Rufus didn't want to play. Claire gave Rufus some toys. Rufus just looked. When we went out to play, Rufus stayed inside. At story time, Rufus sat by himself. He didn't want to sit with me. There once was a fluffy yellow chick called Charlie. Charlie. Claire told us the story of Charlie Chick. Charlie loved his mummy, and he loved cuddling up underneath her warm, feathery tummy. I like the bit when Charlie Chick 
is frightened of the outside world. Till he hears the chirps of the other chicks. We all chirp like Charlie. Rufus seems sad. Rufus made me sad. I was cross too. What was wrong with Rufus? Hey Tig, there's nothing wrong with Rufus. He doesn't mean to make you sad and cross. Rufus feels just like Charlie Chick. Chip, chip. Rufus has left the nice warm feathers of his home and come out to a new strange place. Now you know all the other children, but Rufus doesn't. You know the games, but Rufus doesn't. You know Miss Claire, but Rufus doesn't. Rufus feels lonely and Rufus feels sad. When you first came to nursery school, you had me. So if Rufus had me to help him for his first day, maybe he'd feel happier. Hey Tig, we'll make you feel happier too. Go for it. Yes, I thought. I'll give Rufus Willy for the day. Rufus likes Willy. And we went outside to play together. The next day, Rufus came to nursery with a teddy called Ed. Rufus was happy with Ed. When Ed saw Willy, he was scared. It's only my toy spider, I said. Rufus likes nursery school now. I love Willy! I love Willy and Willy loves me. We've been together since we were wee.